Hollywood can be a fickle place with no guarantees of work even after you're hired. Here are 10 movies that fired their lead actor during filming. The Lords of Flatbush Richard Gere was originally set to star in the 1974 movie The Lords of Flatbush alongside Sylvester Stallone who wrote some of the dialogue. However, Gere and Stallone came to blows and even got into a shoving match during lunch one day and Stallone demanded that the directors make a choice. Given that Stallone had contributed to the screenplay, it was Gere that was fired from playing the role of Chico and was replaced by Perry King. Cannery Row Raquel Welsh is known as one of the sexiest Hollywood icons who has had an amazing career. However, while she was filming the 1982 movie Cannery Row, it turned out that she was difficult to work with on set because she wanted three hours a day to put on makeup and have her hair done at home, as well as refusing to use the trailer provided for her and refusing to make herself available for early morning rehearsals. So she was fired a few days after production began and was replaced by Deborah Winger. Welsh sued the studio for over $10 million and won because the filmmakers breached their contract. The Mirror Has Two Faces The Mirror Has Two Faces was a 1996 film that was directed by none other than Barbara Streisand. Comedic actor Dudley Moore was originally cast to play Henry Fine, and the casting seemed promising given Moore's successful career and fine acting chops. However, Streisand wasn't impressed with Moore, especially because he couldn't remember his lines. Unfortunately, Moore was fired and announced a few years later that he was suffering from a degenerative brain disorder, which may have been why he couldn't remember his lines. The Breakfast Club the Breakfast Club was one of the most iconic movies of the 80s that jump-started the careers of stars like Molly Ringwald and Emilio Estevez. What many don't know is that Rick Moranis was originally set to play the memorable character of Carl the Janitor. However, Moranis took a direction with the role that the producers didn't like when he gave the character an over-the-top Russian accent. Producer Ted Nannan ended up firing Moranis and then John Kapalos stepped in. The Other Side Poor Lindsay Lohan has been trying to get back on her feet for a while after having a very public downward spiral with drinking, drugs, and DUIs. In 2010, she was booked to be in the movie The Other Side. It was supposed to be her major film comeback after a couple of failed projects. However, it was later announced that Lohan was no longer in the movie. Rumor has it that she was replaced because the producers no longer saw her as bankable. Lindsay simply stated on Twitter that the project fell through. Back to the Future Today, when we think of the Back to the Future franchise, we can't help but think of Michael J. Fox, who plays the iconic role of Marty McFly. However, Fox wasn't the first person to play Marty. Up-and-coming actor Eric Stoltz was originally set to play the lead, but after a few weeks of production, it was clear that Stoltz didn't have the comedic lightness that was needed for the movie. So Fox stepped into the role and nailed it. The Lovely Bones The Lovely Bones is a powerful film about grief and tragedy. Ryan Gosling was originally set to play the father, Jack Salmon. However, there were a few issues. Gosling felt as though he was way too young to play the role and expressed these concerns, even though director Peter Jackson assured him that makeup could be used. Gosling then interpreted the character differently and gained 60 pounds for the role. Peter Jackson did not see eye to eye with Gosling and fired him from the production. The Lord of the Rings we all know and love Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn in the famous Lord of the Rings trilogy directed by Peter Jackson. However, Viggo was not the first choice for Aragorn. Irish actor Stuart Townsend was supposed to play the role. He had done everything he needed to prepare and study for the role only to be fired a day before shooting was to start. According to insiders, Townsend was replaced because he and Jackson didn't have good working chemistry. The Twilight Saga Eclipse 
In the first and second Twilight movies, Rochelle Lefebvre brought the fiery-haired vampire Victoria to life. When it came time for the third installment, Eclipse, Twilight fans were surprised to see that Lefebvre had been replaced by Bryce Dallas Howard. Summit Entertainment said the change was made due to scheduling conflicts. However, Lefebvre insisted that she was fully available to play the role and even turned down other projects to stick with the series. The Amazing Spider-Man Andrew Garfield played the leading role of Peter Parker in the first two installments of The Amazing Spider-Man, but then suddenly it was announced that Garfield would no longer play the role despite the fact that there was a third film in the works. It turns out that Garfield snubbed Sony chief Kaz Hirai at a big Sony gala in Rio de Janeiro by cancelling his attendance. Unsure of the exact reason, Harai and Sony producers saw this as an insult and removed Garfield from any future Spidey-related projects. Sometimes things just aren't meant to be. What do you think of these actors who were fired from their roles? Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to The Richest for more amazing videos daily.